Go with me tonight to the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 6. And when you have it, say amen. Acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. And so, this, the way I think it means is in all your ways, he'll direct your paths. Amen. I'm going to give you some examples tonight of some people who was guided. But first, let me give you another scripture. Psalms. 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalms 119, verse 105. Amen. Read it again. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. <clears throat> a lamp, it's saying a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Yeah. Tonight, the first person we're going to talk about is Noah. Go to Genesis chapter 6, verse 1. And we're going to read the whole chapter here, so be prepared. Chapter 6, verse 1. Amen. Amen. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. For that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of, of men, and they bare children to them, the same became, became mighty men which were of old men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Verse 6 here. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him in his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man, whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. I am sorry that I have made them. Amen. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a man, was a just man, and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupt, corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, 
The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits. The breadth, is that pronounced right? Of it, fifty cubits, and the height of it, thirty cubits. That is, four hundred and fifty feet, seventy-five feet, and then forty-five feet for all three of those. Amen. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shalt thou set. Hold on. In the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee I shall establish my covenant. And thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, Two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Amen. Chapter 7, verse 1, and we're going through only, hold on, 16 verses. Uh -oh. And the Lord said to Noah, Come thou and all thy house un into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. For every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean, by two, the male and female. Of fowls also by air, by sevens, of the air by sevens, the male and female, to keep seed alive upon the face of the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth, forty days and forty nights, so a week until he makes it rain. Amen. And every living substance that I have made, will I destroy them off of the face of the earth. And Noah did according to all that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of the waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth there went in two and two unto Noah into the ark the male and the female as God had commanded Noah so, a male animal and a female animal are going in with Noah into the ark. Amen. And there's three different sto stories into the ark. So, that gives them enough room for all the animals. And then... Amen. And it came to pass 
rise after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth in the 600th year of Noah's life. 600 years old Amen. at the time. In the second month, in the seventh month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day where all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons unto them into the ark. They and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. Let's go down to chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air. Upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, and into your hand are they delivered. God made a way with this ark. Come on. For Noah and his family to be saved. Amen. Not just Noah was why. Not, it wasn't just Noah's life that he was saving. It was his families and Come the on. animals. Amen. Hold on. We skipped something here about Noah. He had sent out a dove twice. Isn't is that right? Twice? He had sent a dove out twice. And the second time it came, it had an olive branch with him. Amen. Hold on. Where are we now? The next man we're going to talk about is Elijah. Go to 1 Kings chapter 17 and verse 1. and hide thyself by the 